Ciao, I'm Chiara from Perfil Segno and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the difference between puff stitch, bubble stitch and popcorn stitch. Okay, first we do one single crochet into the first stitch and now we are going to create the first puff stitch. So first a yarn over, then insert the hook into the second stitch, into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up loop through. There will be three loops on the hook. And now we are going to repeat this four more times. So yarn over, insert the hook into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through. Three more times. So now we have 11 loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all 11 loops on our hook. And now chain one to close the puff stitch. This is the first puff stitch. Now repeat together one more time. So first uh, we do one single crochet into the next stitch. And now we insert the hook into the next stitch five times. But of course you can insert the hook how many times you want. So now we have 11 loops on our hook, so now yarn over and pull through all 11 loops, chain 1 to complete the puff stitch. Now we do one single crochet into the first stitch and now to create a bubble stitch we're going to do five incomplete double crochets or how many double crochets you want. So now yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over again, insert your hook into the same stitch. Then yarn over and pull through two and continue to do this until we will have six loops on our hook. Okay, now we have six loops on our hook and now yarn over and pull through all six loops. And 
and now we do one single crochet into the next stitch because that will help uh, that bubble really pop this is the first bubble stitch so now let's repeat together how to do another bubble stitch so remember we are going to do five incomplete double crochets or how many double crochets you want and in this way i uh, we will have uh, six loops on our hook so now yarn over and pull through all six loops one single crochet into the next stitch Okay, now for to create a popcorn stitch, we do five double crochets or how many double crochets you want in the same stitch. So now pay attention, we remove the hook from the last double crochet, insert it into the first double crochet of the five double crochets group. So insert the hook here into the first double crochet of the group. Now insert the hook into the last stitch and pull it through the first double crochet. This is the first popcorn stitch and now we do one single crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to do the second puff stitch together one more time. So remember we are going to, to do five double crochets into the same stitch into the next stitch or how many double crochets you want. Remove the hook from the last double crochet, then insert the hook into the first double crochet of the five double crochets group. So five, four, three, two, and one. So now insert the hook into the last loop here, into the last double crochet and pull it through the first double crochet and this is the second popcorn stitch and of course we do one single crochet into the next stitch so now let's repeat this together one more time
These are the difference between puff stitch, bubble stitch and popcorn stitch. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Ciao and tanto love.